everyone, Sachi, how are you guys doing? So spring is over, it was kind of interesting, but we're looking forward to the summer and the heat, and my AC is going to work over time, but also the new anime seasons. And if there's one thing I can say from this, it has isekai up the ass, so much isekai, <laughs> and I'm only looking to that. But anyway, I have a look at the list, and these are going to be the seven animes I have chosen for my summer season picks. First up, the Shonen should be obvious. Dr. Stone. Now, this title was really well received on Shonen Jump. It's a post apocalyptic story. The world has been, everyone in the world, <laughs> excuse me, has been turned to stone. After Amelia, they're back to normal. Well, not all of them, some of them. And it's about two characters who are going around trying to bring humanity back from the brink. What I like about it is that it's not about who can fight the hardest, it's about what development can be discovered next. Yeah, a lot of good anime from Shonen Jump this year. Let's see how this one ranks. Next for my scene, I chose Vinland Saga. I remember Gigok reviewing the manga for this and he loved it and I was like, okay, the anime should be out soon and here it is. It's a Viking story, so I'm expecting an epic scale, lots of gore and violence, and some dramatic moments. Should be interesting. For my action adventure, I chose Arifureta Shukogyo de Sekai Shagyo. From the synopsis, it sounds like your standard affair is a guy, a bunch of kids get swept into another world and they have to start from zero. But the light novel has been really well received, and I kind of like the stories where the main character starts at the bottom and works his way up. Kind of like Healed Hero and Slam Boy. And with animation by White Fox, I have expectations. Let's see how they do me. For my comedy, it's the other Isekai I'm picking, and it has a very long name, give me a minute. Sugo Kogeki Gazentai Kogeki de Tsukai Kogeki no Osakan Wasuki Desuka. Seriously long name. I think it translates like, do you love your mom and her multi-hit two-handed attack? Basically, it's Isekai. But unfortunately, the character's mom comes along with, so no harm for him. Yeah, it should be a very comedic kind of show, just funny things, especially with the mom probably being super overpowered and yet doesn't know anything about the world that's inhabiting and he has to constantly explain. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just looking forward to those kind of interactions. Let's see, it should be fun. Now, I feel I'm kind of cheating here, but for my slice of life, it's also in a fantasy setting, but it's not actually Isekai. It also has a long name. Give me a minute. Uchi no musume no tame nabara ore wa moshi kashitara mo mo toseru koma shinari. Basically, if it's for my daughter, I will defeat even the demon lord. So we have this cool adventurer. He's a veteran and he comes across this little girl he adopted, but she's actually a demon. But she's just so cute, so yeah, he can't, he can't help himself. You know what I mean? He'll fight the demon lord just to protect her. And I have a feeling most people will, she's just like you. So yeah, more anime cuteness. Yeah, protect that smile. For my mystery, I chose Lord Elvino II. And this is a spin-off of the face series styling, formerly known as Wave, Waver Velvet from uh, Fig Zero. <laughs> Basically seeing what he's been up to as an adult, it seems to be like a mystery show, stuff is happening, he's there solving it, should be interesting. There was this uh, OVA that was released on this, I should watch that before jumping into this, but yeah. Let's just see where it goes. And finally, for my science fiction, I chose Eden no Shobutai, also known as Fire Force. Yeah, the manga has been well received from what I'm seeing, and it's about a group of firefighters that actually fight fires. Like, people are spontaneously combusting, turning into fiery monsters, and they have to be fought. So, yeah. Should be cool. So yeah, these are the seven shows I'm picking from the summer list and I am really looking forward to it. Uh, the first up should be uh, about the Demon Lord daughter thing. It's a long name, let's not bother with that. But basically, yeah, we'll protect that smile. He should. That should be first on the list. I'm pretty sure I missed on, on a lot of good shows, but do let me know what's got you really excited this season. And uh, let me know about them. Anyway, see you guys for the first one. Bye.